Hey Toy Addicts, this is Jody, and today I went to a doll show that um, I've been to this doll show several times before and I always find great stuff there. I've actually made some videos of me walking around the doll show. I'll link that up here somewhere wherever the little card gets linked um, so you can see that I didn't take a video this time because in the past there hasn't been too many people there it's been kind of quiet but this time there were mass amounts of people there there were so many people it was jam-packed and there was just no way I was going to be able to film everything so instead I'm going to show you my haul of things that I got at the sale let's take a look so I think I got some pretty good deals and some pretty awesome things at the sale. They did have a few strawberry shortcake things, but nothing for my collection, unfortunately. So I didn't get any strawberry shortcake. Um, I did get a few 80s things. I got this Rainbow Bright doll. And she's in really nice shape. She is one of the vintage ones. Her head's a little bit floppy, which I don't love. But I feel like maybe I can push her stuffing up there a little bit and... Um, she'll be better but she was in really good shape I got her for five dollars I picked up this ideal pepper doll and pepper is Tammy's little sister and she's in her box which is awesome I'm not sure if this is one of her original outfits but she's got this cute outfit and then she also came with a little booklet which I do have a video of this booklet if you're interested in Tammy stuff. And she even has little shoes on. Cute. And that was $25. I paid for that. And um, if I get ambitious, I will put comps up here somewhere so you can see what things are worth. Some of these things I looked up when I was there. Some of them I didn't. Um, this is another Pepper doll. And I believe I paid... Five dollars for her or ten I can't remember this is ginger a ginger doll booklet and I will definitely be making a video of this you know how I like to scan in my booklets and um, if you like little doll booklets like this I have I believe I have 60 videos of little doll booklets and I also have these on my website toy dash addict.com which is linked down below in the description um i have the full scans on there so if you'd rather look at the scans than you know watch the little pictures go by with music they're on that website too in addition to the, that i got this um little doll case do you know what doll this goes to I didn't when I first looked at it, but then I saw this D here. That's the D for the Darcy doll. So I paid $5 for this doll case, and it is in really nice condition. So I was excited about that. And then I also bought this Barbie Oscar de la Renta dress. I paid $5 for this, and I might not have bought this, except for that last weekend I went to a doll estate sale. And I picked up a doll that had an Oscar de la Renta dress, and I sold that for like $18. So I thought, mm, $5? Yeah, I'll take it. I got some Cabbage Patch Kids shoes on their cards. I paid $5 each for these, and that's probably paying a little bit too much. But I I can get about $15 each for the shoes on the card, so that's not too much. There's a, a red pair, and these are from like 1996 when Cabbage Patch was done by Mattel. So they're not um, as valuable as some of the um, Coleco shoes could be. There's a pink pair of little Mary Janes and another pair of tennis shoes. I mean, these are really cute. These aren't the Wee Box, but um, Cabbage Patch did do a collaboration with Reebok where they had the Wee Box on the shoes. And then I got another little package of Tammy outfit stuff. Some of it's Tammy, some of it's not. My favorite thing in here, though, is the little typewriter. I don't know if you can see that or not, but got Tammy's swimming suit and some nylons and... Um, I don't think that's her tennis racket either. But this is definitely like her little lingerie outfit in here. So 
that's a good deal. I got this Tressie doll. Tressie is by American Character. She's a 60s doll. I paid $10 for her. And this is, her original dress was red and white, but it's the same dress. So I actually think this dress came from, like, maybe a friend of Tressie in the Tressie line. And then I got this um, Little Kittles doll. And this is a Locket doll. And it actually has a little thing here so you can, like, slip it on your pocket. And I paid $10 for her. And this one was probably one of my best finds for the day. This is Tiffany Taylor. I actually bought this same doll, but the white one, last weekend. Um, but what I like about these Tiffany Taylor dolls is that you can switch their hair around. And then, like, you're supposed to be able to comb it and it kind of settles down a bit. But it's a complete color change of their hair. So the, um, the white doll has like a blonde hair with like a black hair underneath, but I just love this color on her. And then switch it back. It just like her whole scalp turns around and then she's got the dark hair, but you can see like the two tone color underneath. I paid $5 for her. And then I got this little doll, um, this Dawn doll, and it also has a couple of outfits. So I paid $10 for that. And if you do like the little booklets that I do, um, you should be excited about this stack. I got a stack of booklets that I haven't done before, made videos of before. Uh, that's a Barbie one. This is a star one. I might have already done this one. I'm not sure. Here's a My First Barbie and World of Barbie. This is Glamour Gals collector book. A Heart Family one. Smurf collectibles is the next one. So it has like Gargamel and Azrael in the back there. And then we have one for the Happy Birthday Barbie doll. And then we've got uh, Skipper Teen Scrapbook. So this is from your Teen Skipper. So that should be a fun one. And then this one was cool. I don't think I've seen this one before. The Lively World of Barbie. Now I have some uh, live, you know, walk lively and living Barbie booklets, but this is like a really big one. And I don't think I've seen it before where she's like Barbie on stage. Look at that. So those are cool. I paid $2 each for those. And then once, usually once I scan them and I have them on my website and I have a video, then I'll sell off the little booklets. All of this stuff will be available at some point on my eBay store, which is linked below, which that is an affiliate link. Um, I do get a little tiny bit of a commission if you link, if you buy anything, if you go on to eBay through that link that's down in the description and you buy anything on eBay, not even from me, but from anybody, I still get like a little bit of a commission, which is nice. This is a Steve Austin doll. Not Stone Cold Steve Austin, but the $6 million man Steve Austin. And um, he's in okay condition. His clothes are a little bit ratty. Like, he's, you know, done too many missions here. So he's kind of worn through with the knees. and um, But he still has his socks and shoes. He still has his arm skin, which is kind of weird, but... <laughs> This, uh, the skin of his arm actually like rolls back and you can see like the electronics in his arm, except for it gets really like brittle over time. So I don't want to roll it back because it is there. And he does have this like mechanism where you push this button in the back and his arm raises up. Oh. And then, um, he also has this thing where there's a hole in the back of his head and you can like see through his eye. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it's a 
$6 million man. So I paid $25 for that. And then I got this Dennis the Menace doll. And he has his little overalls on. He is a pull string doll, but there's no pull string. Um, I paid $10 for him. I had sold him before, so I did know that was a pretty good price. I got a couple of um, more little kittles. These are little cologne kittles. So I actually just sold this one for like $36. So I paid $15 for her. Um, you know, when you go to a show versus like a uh, garage sale or whatever, you're definitely going to be paying up. And the prices were for sure higher this time. But um, I got some neat stuff. So here's another cologne kittle. The last time I bought these, I got them at an estate sale for $2 each. So this one I think was 10 and the other one was 15. So I paid up a little bit more this time. I did get one strawberry shortcake item, not for my collection, but for sale. It's a below kiss doll. And she does have some saggy elastic here. But I do have a video where my mom shows you how to correct that saggy elastic problem with just a needle and some elastic thread. Instead of like sewing in new stuff, it's like anyone can do it. So we can fix that up. Her hat elastic is still good. She probably needs some new elastic along her arms too. But um, otherwise she's pretty cute. She's the last item. So that's all the fun stuff I got. Um, there was a lot of stuff there that I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But the prices were pretty high, which is good for the dealers. You know, they're making money. They definitely made some money today because there was a lot, a lot, a lot of people there. But um, I think I can still do pretty good with this stuff. So I'm happy to have all this fun stuff. This is the kind of stuff that I love to sell. The dolls and the action figures and the clothes and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be fun for me anyway. <laughs> if it's not as profitable as it could be. Um, a lot of this stuff is pretty hard to find too. I mean, you know, the, the Kittles are from the 60s. That Tressie doll is from the 60s. The uh, um, Six Million Dollar Man's from the 70s. So it's, you know, older stuff. So it's harder to find just at a garage sale or whatever. So, okay guys. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment down below how you think I did. Um, or if you ever had any of these toys, uh, make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, why aren't you subscribed yet? It doesn't cost you anything and it does help me out. And <laughs> And if I could ask you a little favor next time you watch one of my videos, just watch one of the commercials. I would really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you next time.